Tuesday. I picked up the camera yesterday with every intention of vlogging. I think I filmed my lunch. I had a delicious like mushroom uh, wild garlic pesto on toast lunch with some white beans and it was so good. But I had so much work because I've been away on holiday that I just didn't have the time to vlog the rest of the day. I had every intention. But yeah, we've been away in Mallorca and if you didn't see the vlog, I'll, I'll link it. Uh, it's really nice to be home. We actually brought the Mallorcan sun back home with us because it's been glorious sunshine ever since we've gone come home and the rest of the week looks really lovely so that's nice I spent the whole weekend well I spent the whole of sa Sunday gardening and Saturday just having one of those lovely catch-up days where you just go shopping you go to the dump you um you know walk the dog just do all those kinds of chores and I'm sort of starting back home with a sort of fresh start I think I mentioned it in the Mallorca vlog but before going away to Mallorca, I did a video where I shared about how I've been just having a tough time recently with my mental health. And interestingly, actually, one of you on that video commented about how I had had a few things recently back to back that potentially have impacted this. Obviously there's loads of other things contributing to it that's going on with me. You had mentioned how I you know, went to Italy, went to Taylor Swift. There's just like lots of things. I, I don't deal, do so well with this. There's lots of different things happening all at once. The website, the eBooks, different things overlapping. And I really had just kind of forgotten my day-to-day -day routine of taking it easy and, and doing the things that really matter to me. So things like going to the gym, things like going on walks with Roxy, gardening, um, making sure I'm taking my supplements, eating healthy meals. Those things seem really basic and I, I genuinely forget about them when I go through a tough time, which is kind of symptomatic. It kind of is a circle. It's a vicious circle. And this week I'm back home. I feel refreshed. I've had a lovely time away and I really want to make sure that I'm endeavouring to focus on the things that make me feel good. That when you're doing them, you kind of forget that they're what keeps you sane and what keeps you on top. Because when I'm doing those things, I still experience anxiety. I still experience bad, bad mental health, but I'm able to keep going. And it's like I forget that the reason that that's the case is because I'm doing all these things and when they slowly sort of slip away you're like why do I feel so terrible why is this happening and you, you know the mental health, health problem takes over you just kind of you, you forget that those things are actually in place to keep you surviving keep you going um, so if you're feeling the same way as me obviously it goes without saying that you should seek out therapy and speak with a doctor and everything but if 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 those things are in place, then there are so many things you can do to make yourself feel better and keep yourself afloat, for me anyway. Wellness is so vital to my health. This week, I'm just gonna be sharing my week back and all the things I'm gonna be doing to keep myself back, on, get myself back on track, essentially. Starting with getting myself ready. I've got myself ready today. I'm getting her, my nails done today, which is lovely. Pampering is so important to me. I've done my makeup. It's like, it's like I'm putting on a mask to be like, I'm ready, I'm, I'm here put some nice clothes on. My hair, it feels nice. I did like a lovely hair mask and it's like amazing how like it's like all floaty and lovely again because it was so dry on holiday. I'm getting a haircut this week though so all these dead ends because you can kind of see them. They are going to be cut off. But I do have some packages that arrived while I was away and this is so timely. Like I saw this package and I was like, ah, oh, this is literally meant to be. I need this because I have basically been very slack with my supplements and I received a top up of my Wild Nutrition supplements. I love this brand so much. If there's one supplement brand I will recommend to you, Wild Nutrition is it. They are everything I believe in. They literally tick every single box. The first thing that is so important about Wild Nutrition is that they are food grown. Um, I'm also partnering with them on this video and um, I've been speaking to them for a really long time and taking their supplements for a long time. Um, I remember mentioning them a while ago when I started to take their supplements and sharing with you what I picked up because I had a consultation with one of their nutritionists and this is the cool thing about them is that when you order from them you can take a supplement quiz and have a free consultation for 15 minutes with one of the nutritionists which I think is pretty unique because usually that you kind of 
wading in the dark here trying to figure out what supplements are applicable to you it can be confusing and there's lots of information out there so to actually just speak with someone on the phone um, and say these are my um, concerns this is my diet this is what I need in my life this is the stage of my life I'm at is amazing and then you know and you're sure what you need um, sure of what you need and it can just it can make it much simpler and they are all about women's health, literally, it says on the front. The experts in women's nutritional health. The company is founded by a woman, Henrietta Norton, 10 years ago. They are formulated specifically for women and it's a company of women. So they're, they're here for us, they're here for the girlies, they know what they're doing. And that's quite unique as well because a lot of the world of science and nutrition, women aren't taken into account so much. And I, I just love that about them. The science is coming out now that food grown supplements are going to be so much better absorbed than synthetic supplements that you're getting from the high street. For example, Wild Nutrition's vitamin D is going to be absorbed 100% better than the equivalent that you'd find on the high street because they're synthetic. Obviously eating a balanced diet is really important but some of us need certain things because of the things we're going through. Maybe you're trying to get pregnant, maybe you have a heavy period, maybe you're vegan so you need B12, maybe you want to up your protein. There's so many reasons why we take supplements. Let me show you what I got. So we've got the protein powder. This is their organic protein and superfood powder. I'm actually gonna make myself one of these in about an hour or two because I've just had breakfast, but I'm going out to get my nails done midday. So I need something to kind of tide me over. So this is a vegan blend of organic ingredients laid with super greens, mushrooms, and vitamin B12. I love that it's got super greens and mushrooms because mushrooms are just incredible for you. And of course, vitamin B12, as a vegan, that's great for me too. Um, I love that it's organic. It's so rare to get an organic protein powder. Like you just don't, you just don't find that and also they're a b corp that's really cool they're a b corp they care about sustainability they care about their packaging the environment the ethics of where their food sources have come from and this is compostable too very very cool so first we have their iron plus when i spoke with a nutritionist at wild nutrition she recommended that i take iron plus when i'm on my period i mentioned to her that i sometimes experience quite bad pms and occasionally i get pain for my period not as bad as I used to but this is really great if you're experiencing obviously heavy periods I love that that is an option and I didn't realize that that was something that you could do just take it during your period and not the entire time and the whole month so I always take this and also look at their packaging it's worth mentioning how absolutely gorgeous their packaging is these bottles then we've obviously got vitamin b12 this would be the one thing that I would swear by and have to take ever since I've been vegan and I love that now I've got a food grown version because in the past I'd always been taking synthetic supplements for b12 then we have ashwagandha now let me tell you how much of a game changer this is ashwagandha is for anyone who experiences anxiety or high stress when I spoke with them she said this is going to be really really beneficial i taken ashwagandha in the past but only as like a powder form so taking it in a pill is much simpler for me it's just so much easier I, I think this is a miracle worker I literally just can't believe how much this changes my day if I take ashwagandha it is so calming it really just helps you get into that flow of breathing deeply feeling calm feeling meditative and just I don't know I don't know what it does I don't know how it does it but it just is incredible it's been something that's been used for centuries basically and there's a real reason for this if you experience stress and anxiety ashwagandha is going to be so key they have kindly offered me a discount code if you use wild madeline you get 50% off your first three months subscription which is awesome so if you want to check them out if you're trying to make your supplement routine more structured and have that subscription which is wonderful because it means it's always coming and you want to be having something that's actually absorbed and going to make a difference in your day and something that's actually catered to your needs you speak with them they can tell you whatever it is that you're you're needing in your life what your diet is what your current situation is as a woman they can really cater this to you and provide you with the things that are going to be helping helping those things and, and improving your life and actually i found wild nutrition through my sister because when she got pregnant with my niece, she did all the research. She's one of those people who is extremely, uh, I don't know, she's very fussy about researching everything in detail. And she did her research and she found that Wild Nutrition was coming up top for supplements when you're pregnant. And those were the supplements she took throughout her pregnancy. And so when I get pregnant, I'm definitely gonna be using Wild Nutrition too. Definitely give them a little check out, um, have a 15 minute consultation with them, do the quiz. And yeah, hopefully you can, start your new supplement journey and wellness routine. I'm just in here because Alex is inside in a meeting. So it's also where the French doors are and I can have the window open whilst I sit inside, which is nice. B12. Not my iron plus because I'm not currently on my period. I usually take them the day before I know I'm gonna start and then the ashwagandha. 
so we can have a nice relaxing day. Maybe, actually, I'll see how I get on. If I'm really busy today, I don't have time for the gym. I may just load up a yoga video because I think the thing that I was doing before was putting too much pressure on having to go to the gym when sometimes if I just don't have time, I should just load up a video on YouTube and do that or use a Peloton. Okay, so we're all covered. And then we have some other packages that I thought I would go through with you quickly. We have got their, oh wow, okay, I'm excited for this. So I've been using their like tinting water, I used it on holiday, because it gives you kind of like a glow um, underneath your makeup, or if you don't want to wear makeup. And then their moisturizer was so good. So this is their dissolving jelly cleanser. I love a jelly cleanser. I'm currently using the Ren jelly cleanser. This is with vitamin C, orange blossom, and niacinamide, perfect. Vitamin C in the daytime is so good for brightening your skin. Niacinamide is gonna be moisturizing. Um, and I just love a jelly cleanser for my skin type. It's my favorite kind of cleanser. Oh, the packaging is just gorgeous, look at this. This is, these are becoming one of my favorite skincare brands now. Look at that, absolutely love it, I'm so excited. I'm gonna use that this evening and see, see what I think. And then we have the um, Reviving Glow Mist. Oh, these just, something about the, the names of their products. Oh, look at this, this is so beautiful. Love the packaging. I don't actually know who this is from. Hmm. Cosmos tea. Okay, there's no note in here, but I'll show you what I've got. So the brand is Cosmos. Oh, that's cute. Love letters, 150 messages. Oh my God. I just feel like, honestly, I returned home and all these packages are so catered to me just needing this time to like refresh my life. Because this is, I just restarted doing my five minute journal and I can add this to my bedside table as something to read every day. With a brave heart, anything is possible. Sometimes miracles are just good people with kind hearts. If you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. I'm just gonna put this on my bedside table and I can read this every day. That's such a lovely little thing to add to a PR package. This is their Dusk Tea. It's chamomile, a blend of herbs, soft spices. Wonderful, again, I'm gonna literally have this this evening. Oh my gosh, look at this tin. Gorgeous tin. And then we have a perfume. I'm trying to understand this brand, whether it's, I'm gonna look this up afterwards to find out if this is a, they just have lots of wellness products. Let's try this perfume, shall we? Oh my gosh, that really reminds me of something. That's a beautiful perfume, really summery and fresh. Really refreshing, summery, light, like citrusy, delish. And then they've given me a sample of their face cream. So I assume that they do skincare. So thank you Cosmos for that. That's a lovely package, wellness package, just, just amazing. I still pinch myself that people send me these things. It's so kind. Yeah, Cosmos, oh, it's by Kate Moss. Luxury rituals and mindful beauty inspired by and sourced in nature. So it's just um, a wellness brand that has things like skincare and other products, which is very cool. They've got incense, they've got mists, they've got skin, I think it's mainly skincare, but they've also got teas. Um, and other things like that, so that's quite cute. I mean, quite surreal that Kate Moss's product is being sent to me, what the heck. But I'm most excited to try this later. I'm gonna go inside, it is half 10, I've got to leave at like quarter to 12. Um, I'm gonna go inside and have, I think I might just have this now, because I'm, I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a protein shake. I might, do I have any fruit? I might blend it with some berries. And then I'm gonna sit outside and do some work because that's another thing I really need to be doing, spending more time outside, so. We're just heading out, but I thought I'd show you my outfit of the day. So I've got this very old t-shirt from maybe Organic Basics on, it's got holes in it, but couldn't find my other white t-shirt. These are my vintage jeans. I'll put on screen what they exactly are because it does say on the patch. Alex, actually, can you read what it says on the back? Because someone asked me this on TikTok. <clears throat> what number is it, five something? Tesco value, 505. 505, so if you're on the hunt for this specific shape where they're just sort of straight down and they're kind of like mid-rise, mid I would say. And then I've got my little Vivea. Can you see them? A little Vivea kind of, um, they're almost like Chanel-esque and they're super comfortable. I think I have a code still with Vivea. Maybe it's Madel 12. And then I've got my Parla Sunnies and we're gonna go get my nails done. I think I'm gonna go for red. I'm feeling like red or maybe some flowers. She had dried flowers last time, so maybe. 
finish it off with my favorite bag. This is my Canusa, Canusa vegan leather handbag that literally looks just as good as it was when I got it. And I really want to get the brown one. New nails, looking lovely and red. This is, I think, called candy from the gel bottle. But I did just go to the charity shop and I'll show you what I got. I've got this adorable top for my niece with cherries all over it. Charity shop's the best place for kids' clothes. Like, the amount of lovely clothes in there, and realistically, your kid will wear their clothes for like <laughs> a few months, and especially in the first few months. So, it's such a good spot. And whenever I see anything, I always grab it. Um, speaking of this t-shirt having holes in it, I just found this one in the charity shop, which is a sea salt organic cotton t-shirt. And it's a perfect one to replace this. It's only £3.50. It is oversized. Still, that's really cool. Like, it's not the same shape as this one. It's big. Very nice. Very happy with that because I love sea salt clothes. And it's nice to have like a good quality material with a, a white t-shirt. I think it makes all the difference. This is so cool. I'm going to have to show you this on. This is hand knitted. And I don't know if you've seen, or I keep seeing, the Damson and Madder. Is it Damson and Madder or Damson and Madder? But there's this trend at the minute for, uh, like, jackets or kind of, like, almost like gilets with the ties at the front. And obviously I wouldn't be wearing this at this time of year, but for winter, or, like, even just the transitional season, look how adorable this is. So it's got little ties on the side that I can tie into a bow and the color, I mean, it literally matches my nails perfectly. Like literally look, but how cute, even literally with a, a white t-shirt or I, I kind of feel like something should be fitted under this, like a fitted black top, like a long sleeve top or a white long sleeve top is so cute. I'm just toasting my bread <laughs> for lunch. How cool, like something a bit different. I don't think that this, this outfit makes it look a bit strange. I feel like when I'm looking at this in the mirror or in the camera, it looks a bit unusual but I feel like with the right accessories I feel like this would be very cool if you wore I feel like with trousers and a black top I don't know I need to like do some research into outfits for this kind of thing or what's do you know what the name of this item of clothing is I'd love to know the name so I can look up outfits but it's just too cool to not get and I love that it's handmade but I'm pretty sure this is wool feels quite scratchy like wool and then I wanted to buy all of these, but I limited myself to just two. But obviously someone had just donated some nighties. <laughs> and I know that this is ridiculous, like I'm a grandma, but honestly, I feel like I would love to just get rid of loads of my pajamas and just exclusively wear vintage nighties because they're just cute. I mean, these aren't, these are a bit more like 80s, 90s in terms of their style. I want to, I would love to get some vintage, like actual like full length nighties, maybe from eBay or something, but this is actually quite a pretty print and I feel like more people have been styling these or wearing these as actual outfits. I'd have to get a slip um, underneath, but I feel like if you were to wear these with like cowboy boots and a belt and like loads of accessories, it could be a vibe, like especially for like a festival or something. I don't know. I'm going to look up again. I'm going to go on Pinterest, but I will just be wearing this as an IT. Very cute. <laughs> and maybe some of you who are a bit older, who, because I feel like there's a generation that wore 90s and then there's now a generation that wear pajamas. Maybe you're going to be laughing at me that I'm thinking about styling this to wear out and about. But <laughs> I've definitely seen loads of people on TikTok wear 90s and um, style them up for outfits in the day. This one I don't think you could style up. I think this is just clearly a 90, but very cute. And this is sleeveless. I try to limit myself. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of my colours. Not that I've had a colour color analysis, but the other ones were kind of like soft yellows and pinks and I just thought I'm just going to try and stick to the colours I know suit me like whites and blues and then I just got a couple of pictures of Cornwall which I'm trying to collect more of for the house and these are just gorge. Alex come look at these. This one was £8 and this is Falmouth Harbour. Look how beautiful that is and the frame is beautiful too. Just so pretty and I also like the size of it. In there. How nice is that? I can picture where that is. Huh? I can picture where that is. 
and this one, Kavarak, which is in a nice, what's this called again? <coughs> Harbour. No, no, the circle oval. There's a word for that, I've forgotten. It's an um, oval. No, I there's a... Know. I'm not an arty person like you. Isn't that lovely though? We've been there. So I thought that you could probably display them like this. How <coughs> sweet. So that's my mini pool. I also got some champagne flutes because they I'd broken some, but um, yeah, I'll show you. I'm, I'm gonna make my dinner, my dinner, my lunch, and then I'll show you our little food for all we've got some Redford delivered. So I'll come back in routine when my food <laughs> has been delivered. We get a delivery on a Tuesday for Redford, and then I usually go to shops. Alex is nipped to Tesco Ooh. because I'm doing a shoot tomorrow. What, 20p? 20p for two of these flutes. Oops. Yeah, so, so good. And they're just classic, I standard. Really want the ones and they're like kind of heavy, so they're not yeah. gonna. Like the ones where, at that hotel we went to for the spa, where was it like the fanciest, you know where it goes out, or maybe it was at the airport. Oh yeah, yeah, I know the ones really you want. mean. One day. Yeah. I'm not sure we can be trusted. The actual champagne. champagne. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I'm going to make my food and yeah, then I'll show you what we've bought from the food shop. Hey Zuzi. Best weather. Feels Mediterranean. Got my lunch with a nice view of the garden. Look at this beast. You are actually hilarious, Roxy. <laughs> Ali! <laughs> she had her head out. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so warm. Yes, you love this patio. Doing this patio is worth it just for this little kitten. He's the biggest fan. He spends all day out here on a sunny day. This is his seat and he'll just roll around. <laughs> You've even made your imprint. Look at these little footprints that he's made, which is kind of heartbreaking because I think they'll stain, but also kind of adorable because they're his little paw prints, look. And it's from here, because this fills with water and then he will go in here and drink the water and then do that, won't you Zeus? I don't really mind, it's okay. I just can't go over this weather. We really need to trim this wisteria, look at it. It just goes mad. But look how cool our, pat our patio looks. I can't believe this is on my home sometimes. I mean all the time. Very so cool. Haven't done one of these in a while. Reminder, if you click the link, you get 15 pounds um, off your first box with Riverford if you want to sign up. They're great. Organic, local produce. This is their salad box. They pretty much have this on. Sorry. It's okay. He's eating on his, his soup for lunch. I made a tomato soup at the weekend. Um, yeah, they have like a recurring thing, which is what I do. I have a recurring order for every week and you can set it for like every two weeks, every three weeks. So every week I get a salad box, a fruit and veg box, um, lemons, limes, tofu, and shiitake mushrooms. And then I just add other stuff, but I usually don't. Um, and that's maybe like 60 quid or so. So we've got lovely lettuce, which we'll use tomorrow for the barbecue. Um, packet of salad. So I'll, I, I usually, what I do every week is I'll make a big salad out of this salad box. So I'll literally just do that tomorrow, but for the barbecue. And we've got radish and these very cute little mini cucumbers and the radish still has the soil on them. And then we've got a celery. I might put this in the potato salad I'm making tomorrow. Some delicious looking tomatoes, which I can put straight in the bowl. Then this is our fruit and veg box. Sometimes I just get the veg box, but especially in summertime, it's quite nice to have fruit and veg. So we've got spinach, and then another head of lettuce, which is good, because I can have one for the burgers, one for like a salad. And then, oh, blueberries blueberries maybe i should bake something will i have time maybe i could bake something this evening like a pudding you me what do you want one yes i feel like you shouldn't use the nice fresh organic blueberries in a pie oh. yeah. i feel like i should make some kind of pudding anyway we'll see we've got courgette and then we have oh this is such a colorful box look how lovely that looks We've got pears and apples, which 
we really need to actually eat the apples here. In fact, this afternoon, I'm gonna have a snack of an apple with some peanut butter and I'll make one for you as well. We've got kohlrabi. Not sure, I'm gonna look up a recipe for this because I always, I'm unsure. And then we've got a head of cabbage. Lovely. And then we've got new potatoes, which I'm gonna make a salad, a potato salad out of tomorrow. And I'll let you know when that goes live on my website. If you aren't already signed up to the newsletter, then go sign up to my newsletter because it kind of will update you basically when there are new recipes and any codes. And actually loads of you who didn't buy the bundle when I released our Basics of Bread ebook asked me if I was gonna be releasing the book on its own. And I, it's now on my website. That I did do a quick sale, but that will be over by the time this video is up. So if you just wanna buy the Basics of Bread ebook on its own without all the other things, because quite a few of you messaged and said you just wanted just that book. It's now live on my website to purchase. I'll leave it linked and it's got over, I think, is it 20 bread recipes in there? Yeah, it is. Yes. Um, so it's got all of the basics, the sort of the Alex's loaf, wholemeal, seeded, buns, <gasps> this bread, look at this. Wow, I need to show them this, this looks epic. What's in your toasty? More soup than I was expecting. Uh, epic mature and the squeaky bean ham, which Yum. I'm not sure I've tried before. And that's the homemade bread that you can get the recipe yeah. for. Enjoy. Do you mind if I take this up the apple and pears? You're gonna take that upstairs. Yeah. Why? I just wanted to say that. Oh, um, yeah. And there's also like a guide on how to knead bread and how to, um, basically all of the top tips. So if you are new to baking and you want to make your bread from scratch, we've also got crumpets in there, pita breads, flat breads, there's sweet recipes like a babka, there's a banana bread. There's just so many things in there. So it's a very cute little ebook full of stuff. Then this is the box of extras that I get. I always have shiitake mushrooms um, because I just love them. And then the Bold Bean Company chickpeas. Always get those. And then also sometimes I'll get the white beans as well. Always get coriander because I eat so much of it. A punnet, not a punnet, but a little bar bag of limes and lemons. And then two blocks of tofu. And I honestly feel like I haven't had tofu in so long because we're on holiday. Did we have tofu over there? I don't know that we did, you know, because I don't remember any of the restaurants having tofu, but I always get two blocks of tofu. So I'm gonna put this all away. Oh, I'll show you what we've got in Tesco. Alex has put some of it away, so I won't show you everything, but um, we're gonna have a barbecue. So we've got some like, some corn on the cob, we've got some onions, we've got some apricots for a coleslaw that I'm gonna be making some shallots, some chestnut mushrooms, Alex picked up some bananas. We also, oh look, he's got some Mallorcan beer. That's cute. Some Mallorcan beer and we also got some 0% Corona because my sister's pregnant so she wouldn't want a drink. And actually, speaking of drink, very kindly I got these bottles of wine from Sea Change. This is a Provence Rosé which is my favourite at this time of year. So I'm gonna open that tomorrow for the barbecue. And then this is actually my favorite as well and my mum's. Um, though I have been experimenting a lot more. This was my favorite for a really long time. Sauvignon Blanc, Marlborough, New Zealand. Like we all love this sort of wine. It's so dry, so citrusy. I have been trying to expand the kind of white wines I drink because I was noticing that sometimes this doesn't match what I'm eating and I want something that's not as intense in flavor. Like I think this is the best wine to drink um, maybe not with dinner, but before dinner. It's so full of flavor and I love it. It's del delicious. I'm sure you all know what this tastes like. Um, but I have been expanding because I was very like um, narrow-minded about wine. And now I'm having lots of different kinds like Viognier's or Bacchus or whatever. Alex will kind of buy different wines and I'll try them out. And I always like a dry white wine for sure, but it's kind of nice to try different things sometimes. But Sea Change kindly sent me these bottles and they're a really, really cool brand. So it's from New Zealand. And let me just get the information for you because they're really cool stuff they're doing. Where's my phone? So Sea Change, they're making waves with an award-winning, ethically sourced, eco-friendly wine directly supporting global ocean conservation projects. They were founded in 2018 and they have raised over 500,000 euros in donations towards marine conservation and the fight against plastic pollution through their partnerships with Ocean Generation, Sea Changes, and the Olive Ridley Project. They recently won Lux Life's most eco-friendly wine brand in 2023 in the UK and Innovation Award at Gatwick Diamond Business Awards. So yeah, 
their whole thing is that they are doing a lot of good and I'm sure the wine is going to be delicious so I'll, let, I'll give you a bit of a taste test hopefully tomorrow but Sea Change they've also said they've removed the plastic wraps around their bottle tops they use natural corks and use labels made from paper from certified sustainable forests and grape waste very cool I did notice how it was a cork with nothing which is very like traditional and I love the bottle I have I've, I've been sharing some wine that I've been sent recently all the wines that I drink because it's something that I'm more conscious of now, um, that I have the option to choose. I try not drink very much. Um, I went a few years without drinking and now I just try and be like sensible with my drinking. Like if I'm on holiday, I don't really think about it, but at home I try and just be a bit more thoughtful about how much I'm drinking. And so when I'm buying a bottle of wine, I try and opt for the brands that are doing good things and being more sustainable or they're vegan or they, um, they're, they're supporting charities and are organic that kind of stuff like because if I'm not buying as much as I used to I can afford to spend I mean actually I don't know how much these bottles are they may well be reasonable but whereas I used to just get the cheapest wine that was like six or seven pounds now I'll spend you know 10 12 15 quid on a really nice bottle because it's the one I'm having you know that week with Alex or something so it's just something I've changed with my approach towards alcohol much more moderation and having wines that are more special and that are doing good things for the planet and as a company. So that's important to me. That's why I share them. Because maybe you're the same. Maybe you, you don't drink a lot. But when you do drink, you want to make that effort that it's a nice quality wine. Or it's a brand that's doing good things. And I think that's quite cool that there's more of them now. So thank you to Sea Change. I'm going to put all this food away. And then I really have to get on with editing. <laughs> because tomorrow I've got a shoot. And I won't have time to edit tomorrow. And I need to get my Mallorca vlog live for you guys. Which I'll link because it's already gone up and um, it's three o'clock now because of how long it took to get my nails done and I had that little charity shopping <laughs> spree. <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday, yes. I forgot to film this morning. I actually, yesterday I was like, oh, I'll film in the morning using the new cleanser I got from Wind. And it was gorgeous. I even said how it's like the Ren Jelly Cleanser, the one that I'm using currently, it's very, very similar. They've potentially took inspiration or it's the same kind of formula. It just has a different scent, it's kind of like a more citrusy scent, but lovely to find another version. I'm actually interested, I'm going to look this up, what the costs are of both of them and maybe what the ingredients are, because good to know. Um, anyway, fallen in love with that brand. Got myself ready because we're doing a shoot day, I've sort of pinned some of my hair back, feeling very like, whenever I do my hair like this, it feels very Lord of the Rings to me. Um, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow, I really... It's annoying because I like really want to chop all these dead ends off because I have fine hair no matter what I do when my hair grows long it always breaks at the ends I don't use a lot of heat a lot of heat on my hair I don't use any like straighteners or curlers I only use a hairdryer like a Dyson air wrap and I only wash my hair once a week so <laughs> I don't know what else to do I obviously like really do take care of my hair I use oil I use masks probably the one thing I could do better at is not whacking my hair up like in a bun but even then I'm not really doing it in a tight bun so I don't think it's anything I'm personally doing I think usually the hairdressers say that my hair is in really healthy condition it's just I think it's literally my hair type I just have fine hair so it just I'm gonna have to cut that off because it doesn't look nice like there was a video of me on holiday from behind and you could just see the band hair at the bottom you could see through it which I just don't like that so it's gonna have to be but then it's fine because my hair still has grown so it will continue maybe it'll be fine anyway that's a massive side note i'm gonna have a omelette and a smoothie for breakfast with the protein powder because i forgot to do that yesterday i was just so on my computer because of coming back from holiday yeah today we're doing a sort of barbecue shoot because i'm posting on my website really regularly recipes so if you want to stay up to date go look at my website i think i already said this in, the, in this video but 
there'll be some updated barbecue recipes for you, some vegan recipes. We're going to do that today. And then my family are coming over later to actually have the barbecue. And fingers crossed it gets sunnier. It was forecast for like 24 degrees today. Currently it's quite cloudy, but that does happen sometimes where it's cloudy in the morning and then it's sunny in the afternoon. Don't know why, but it seems to be quite a common thing where I live. And yeah, fingers crossed it'll be a really nice sunny afternoon and we can enjoy our patio, but let's make my breakfast. Delicious. If you blend this with some fruits, it tastes so, so good. There is a definite like greens powder taste, but it just means I like that taste because it means I'm getting goodness in there. Tastes so nice with the banana and some, some fruit though. It's my favorite way to have the protein powder. Mm. Absolutely perfect. What can you do? We do. This is our burger. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's a spicy black bean burger. And Alex has just made these bread rolls and I will be posting this soon. So stay tuned. It won't be up yet, but sign up to the newsletter and check out my website. It'll be there soon. And the recipe will be live, but look at that. My family have just arrived and I've just laid the table, I'll show you. But I said I'd give a review of this wine. We've just dug in and it's absolutely de delicious. Ah, oh, and Alex, look, he made loads of bread for the barbecue. It's got loads of burger buns and hot dog buns and his little reg. <laughs> 